Welcome friends and thanks for watching! In a previous video, I walked you through the basics of load balancing in AWS. Link above and below if you're interested. We built out a load balancer like this with a single target group and two EC2 instances. Which is simple enough, but that's just two instances. What if you need six instances or 600? Or what if you only need one? How can you handle this without a lot of administrative overhead of spinning up instances, adding them to the target group for the load balancer, removing them, and so on? Well, the answer is autoscaling groups, or commonly referred to as an ASG. As the name suggests, autoscaling groups automatically scale out and in the number of instances based on the load. So if you have a lot of load during the day, let's say, but not very much at night, an autoscaling group can handle that for you. You just need to specify the minimum and maximum numbers of the instances you want, and AWS will do the rest for you. As new instances come online, they automatically get registered with your load balancer, and this will also let you replace unhealthy instances automatically. So bottom line is this allows you to run at an optimal capacity, meaning cost savings for you. You don't have a bunch of servers out there that you're paying for that are running at, say, 10 or 20 percent capacity. Now I'll switch over to the console here in just a second, but before I do that, a quick slide to show you what I've done so far. I created an application load balancer to handle HTTP traffic, and then I created one target group that's basically sort of empty right now. There aren't any EC2 instances in it. Those instances are going to be provisioned and maintained by the auto scaling group that we're going to create. Now I should note that you don't have to use a load balancer with an auto-scaling group, but it's a pretty common scenario in the real world, so that's why I'm choosing to do it in this video. But you could create an auto-scaling group all by itself without doing any load balancing if you wanted to. Okay, let's get to work. Here in the AWS console, I've navigated to EC2, and then down here under load balancers, just to show you that I have one set up here, TTT, tiny technical tutorials, load balancer. And then for target groups, I have one TTT target group here. Once again, if you want to learn more about setting these up, check out the video linked above and below. But let's work on our auto-scaling group now. So down here at the very bottom, auto-scaling groups. Click the orange button here, create auto-scaling group, and give it a name. I'm going to go with TTT ASG. And then here for launch template, these are basically the instructions that the autoscaling group is going to use when it goes to create a new EC2 instance. If you already have templates defined, you can select that here, but we're going to create a new one. Make sure you open this in a new tab. This doesn't always open in a new tab like it should, so I will right click this and say open a new tab so that we can get back to this page once we've created the template. All right, we need to give this a name as well. I'll go with TTT launch template. I'll leave everything else the default here on the top, and then down here is where we need to define things like our Amazon machine image and so on. So for AMI, I'll come into Quick Start, and we'll go with Amazon Linux. Obviously, plenty of other options here if you want to choose something else, but I'm going to go with Free Tier Eligible over here. Everything else the defaults. Scrolling down, I'm also going to choose Free Tier Eligible here, the T2 Micro for instance type. Scrolling down, I won't include the key pair in the template or the subnet, but I am going to select an existing security group. I created one earlier, TTT ALB HTTP open. The security group just has port 80 HTTP open to the world. If you don't have one, you can create a new security group with those settings here. I'll leave everything else the default, but down here under advanced details, I am going to enter all the way down here on the bottom, user data. I'll paste in some code here. This will basically set up our instance as a web server, and we're going to have a simple index.html page that says, hello world, this is, and then the name of the host. This will just let us see which host the traffic is being routed to once we're all set up here. All right, create launch template over here on the right. And now back to this other tab here where we started creating the auto scaling group. Make sure you refresh so it'll grab that latest template that we just created, and then you can select it here. Okay, scrolling down, we'll leave everything else and say next. For network, I just have one VPC, my default, so I'm going to go with that. And then for availability zones and subnets, 
I'm actually going to choose all of them. This is a multi-select, so I'll choose all three that I have there for US East 2. For instance, type requirements, you'll see that we're getting those from the launch template that we created. So we'll go next. And then here's where you can attach to a load balancer or not, this is optional. So I am going to use the existing load balancer that I showed you earlier that I did prior to starting the video. So attach to an existing load balancer. You could also create a new one here from the screen if you wanted to. And then I mentioned that I also created a target group earlier. So I'll select that existing target group. So back to the slides real quickly. We're basically saying, okay, I'm creating this auto scaling group and I want it to work with the application load balancer and the target group that I already set up. So this is where we are so far. All right, back to the console. Let's enable health checks for the ELB, elastic load balancer, which is my application load balancer in this case. This is gonna let the load balancer check to make sure that the instances are healthy. And if they're not, it will automatically replace them. All right, and next. Here's where you configure the number of instances you want and any kind of scaling policy. So let's say the desired capacity or the desired number of instances will be two. This means that the auto scaling group will automatically launch two instances when we first start this. Let's say the minimum we ever want is one and maybe maximum is four. For scaling policies, we're going to go with none, which basically means keep us within these numbers that we just specified above. But if you want those numbers to change based on some rule or some percentage of capacity, you can say target tracking scaling policy. In the real world, this is most likely what you're going to do. I wanted to keep things simple here for the demo, but you could do something like once the average CPU utilization reaches maybe 70%, you want to increase the instances, or if average network in or out is a certain number, then take some action. So a few different options you've got there. Again, we're just going to go with none to keep things simple for now, and then I'll go next. We won't do any notifications. We'll do next here as well. No tags. Next. Review everything that we've set up, and then we will create the autoscaling group. Okay, now let's click into here and see what's going on behind the scenes, all the work that it's doing for us. I'll click into the Instance Management tab up here on the top, and you'll see there's our two instances. So we said the desired number of instances was two, which is what's making it create two for us up front. You can also look at the Activity tab here to see what's happened. So you'll see that we're increasing capacity from zero to two, which obviously is what we saw back here under the instances. Now, if we look at our target group, let me just open this in a new tab over here. We should see those two instances are now registered with the target group, and there they are. So that happened automatically when they got spun up. And if we go into our load balancer now, and I'll grab the DNS here, just copy that, open up a new tab, Paste that in. Remember that I created simple index.html pages here with the name of the host. So hello world, and you'll see that host name here. If I do a refresh, you'll see that address or that host name is changing. So the load balancer is working. I've got the two instances and it's routing between those two. Okay, so those are the basics of starting up the auto scaling group. We've got the two instances, but let's say that something went wrong with one of our instances and we can basically simulate that. Let me come into the EC2 instances list here and let's just terminate one of these instances. So I'll select the top one, instance state and terminate. So we're just simulating that maybe a server crashed, something went wrong, something is unhealthy here. If we go back to our auto scaling group and look at instance management here, it might take a minute or two for something to appear. Let me just refresh. Right now they're both showing as healthy. So I'll pause the video for a minute or so and we'll see what happens when one of these comes back as unhealthy. All right, I'm back. So you'll see the second one here is showing unhealthy. And remember again, for this auto scaling group, we said the desired capacity is two. So the auto scaling group is going to automatically spin up another instance to replace that one that just went down. If we look at the activity tab here, you'll see what's happening. 
So we were waiting for ELB connection draining to happen. So this instance was taken out of service in response to a health check, basically showing that it was terminated or stopped. And then here, you'll see that we've launched a new instance and we had a capacity of one and that's increased to two. And back here under instance management, you'll see we've got the two healthy instances now and this unhealthy one, which is still in a terminating state. That'll eventually just drop off. So this is what we ended up with, the same low balancer and target group that we started with, but now the instances are being spun up and down based on the auto scaling group that we created. Yay! Now, before you run off, a very important reminder, if you've been following along, let's go delete everything that we spun up in the video. You don't want any surprise bills at the end of the month. So back here in the console, I will navigate to auto scaling groups on the lower left here. I'll select our one auto scaling group and then up here say delete. And you'll see the message at the top that deleting this auto scaling group will also terminate all of the instances in the group, which is exactly what we want. We don't have to do that separately. So we'll confirm delete. And then you might also want to get rid of your launch template. Again, these were the instructions that said when you create a new EC2 instance, it should look like this. These are free, so there's no harm in leaving them around, but just good to kind of keep things cleaned up. So actions and delete template. Delete. And with that, there's just one final thing to do, and that's to hit that like button so this video can spread to more people. Also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.